Jesus' third world warning. And a third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. The beast of Revelation 13, 1-8 is here described. This beast is the Roman Catholic power. The USA is the second beast in Revelation 13, 11. And he had power to give life to the image of the beast. What is the mark of the beast? It consists of a change of the law of God, by which the signature of royalty is taken from the law, the seventh day Sabbath, the great memorial of Jehovah's creative work, is torn from its place in the Decalogue, and a false and counterfeit Sabbath, the first day of the week, is set up in its stead. And receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. To receive the mark of the beast in the forehead is, we understand, to give assent of the mind and judgment of his authority in the adoption of that institution which constitutes the mark. By parity of reasoning, to receive it in the hand would be to signify allegiance by some outward act. The wine of the wrath of God. That voice shakes the heavens and the earth. There is a mighty earthquake. The firmament appears to open and shut. The mountains shake like a reed in the wind and ragged rocks are scattered on every side. A sea is lashed into fury. There is heard the shriek of a hurricane like the voice of demons. The whole earth, heavens, heaves and swells like the waves of the sea. Its surface is breaking up. Its very foundations seem to be giving way. Mountain chains are sinking. Inhabited islands disappear. Great hailstones, every one about the weight of a talent, are doing their work of destruction. The seven last plagues are falling on the earth. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up for ever and ever. They have no rest, day nor night, who worship the beast in his image. And ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I do this, saith the Lord of hosts. Once burnt, it's gone forever. Now the good news. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. And I looked, and behold, a white cloud, and upon that cloud one sat like unto the Son of Man. The choice is ours to make, friend. 